Hey traders, Eman here with RemoraLite.com. In this video, we're going to launch Remora for the first time and have a poke around. Let's get started. So on my desktop, I've got my this PC. I'm going to click on my C. So our installation folder was actually called uh, Remora Lite. We'll double click here. Now, this is an Excel application. So we have the Remora Lite file. It's called Remora Lite and then the version number, 1.0 XL. SB. Now there's a backup one as well. It's Remoralite 1.0. Backup. If you run into any problems with your uh, regular file, you do have a backup one. And uh, what I usually do is I'll just copy the current one, right, and keep a backup in case anything happens. You can do Control C and Control V, and what we have here is a duplicate. And your original file. Uh, is there as well so and it's the same file size so I usually do that and then delete the oldest one just just in in making sure if you had to revert for any reason or anything happened so what I'm gonna do is double click Remora Lite and remember that we had it licensed already so we did that in the previous video so everything should be fine if you didn't do the licensing portion it's going to ask you when it opens so let's go ahead and double click Remora Lite. Oh, and by the way, what we could do is we could create a shortcut on our desktop. So I'm going to use the right mouse button and I'm going to drag this over to the desktop and let go. And I'm going to choose create shortcut here. And this went to a completely different monitor. I'm going to right click it and rename it by clicking show more options and rename. So I'll just call it uh, Remora Lite. Okay, also if you wanted to as well, you could create a shortcut to the application if you like. I'll go back up to my C drive here, and I'll do the same thing. I'll right click on Remora Lite, and I'll drop it over here. Create shortcut. And there's a shortcut to the folder. So let's go over here and double click Remora Lite. And we see that it's loading. Now as you can see as an overview there's a whole bunch of tabs across the bottom and we're going to cover those in different segments. This is the landing page that says auto update. So this is kind of your starting point where we have some features. So what we can do here, you see this button's green it says update data. So what we do is is our team consolidates data on the dark pools and other information and they make sure everything's correct and upload it to the server. And so we can do update data whenever this turns green when you open it. Um, and let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose update data. It says updated data is available. Would you like to continue? We will absolutely choose yes. So this should take probably about a minute to 90 seconds. And we can see down here on the bottom left, it says uh, step three, seven. Well, it's going quicker than I can count. It's got 15 or 16 steps that it's doing, and we'll just let this finish. So this came back and said that it was finished in 1 minute and 12 seconds, which is actually pretty good. So now this goes blue. Now if we wanted to see if there was more data, we could just click the update data. And it says your data is up to date. Just FYI. Uh, if you need help, questions, comments, you can email support at remoralite.com. There's a getting started with Remora document as well, but you would have the video. This document would have been provided to you in the email that you received with your license. We have reference videos here, and there's probably going to be more added, but this is what we have so far. You can click them. There's a getting started YouTube series, and all of the features have individual videos as well. So when you look at the YouTube channel, uh, you can subscribe. Anything new that comes out, you'll be able to see that. Up here on the left are different options, and we're going to wind up discussing some of these in later videos. Except that there's two things regarding the data source. So before the next trading day is open, it's usually the night before, some of our team works on the Pacific West Coast of the United States. They look and consolidate some of the data as well. This is a large update. 
What happens is about five minutes after the market closes, there's more information available. So you could come back at say 4 p.m. Eastern and say maybe 4.05, 4.10. Um, you can click this update block print data. Okay, so if you do this, the update block print data, it says Remort is up to date with the latest shared prints. So at the end of the trading day, you'll have the ability to use this update block print data and it takes about 30 seconds or something and it up, it updates everything all together and that's enough to get you through to the next morning when you open Remora again the next day you'll wind up having this update data when we discuss some of the other features you'll see why this data is important and why some of it is sorted manually the other thing down here is there's a keyboard shortcut so a lot of the programming that's uh, available in Remora uh, uses Visual Basic which is the programming language that uh, Microsoft has for their applications in Office Suite the configuration we did in the previous video allowed this coding to run now this is because this is an application that's distributed on the web the Microsoft security features are quite important and that uh, they would block some of this from running here are the keyboard shortcuts as well, and we're going to cover these. Just so that you're aware, you could print this section out, or you can always refer to your Auto Update tab. The next video in the series is the Late Prints tab. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for ongoing updates and new features. See you in the next video.